Good morning, sports fans. Just sitting out here, fixing to go to work. Nice, cool summer morning, which is, it's, I don't know, 68, 70 degrees, which is cool for us in the summer, which is really unheard of, because usually it's around 85 at 8 o'clock in the morning. So anyway, got a new tool, handyman tool. Uh, I'm not a big cobalt fan. I'm sorry, Lowe's, but I'm really not. But... I had some NTB uh, 4x4 post base I needed to drive in the ground. And with those, you cut a section of 4x4 and you put it in the base and you take a sledgehammer and you hammer them all the way in the ground. The reason I didn't dig a post hole was because too many roots. We done tried that week before. So anyway, I got these post base and tried to find my 8 pound sledge. I couldn't find it. I think I know where it's at, but it was just easier at the time to get another one so i um i wanted a 16 pounder because i know i have eight pounder someplace but couldn't find one and i, I kept running across this one and let's see if we can see it there there you go 10 pound cobalt sledgehammer with fiberglass handle um i don't know that may be all the warning but it's a cobalt that lows and it kind of looked gimmicky at first when I got it, um, be honest with you. But uh, I said, okay, it's 10 pounds. It's heavier than one I've got someplace. It also comes with uh, this demolition head, kind of wedge uh, for, I don't know, that would work for a lot of things, uh, tile floors, stuff like that, which uh, if you don't have a Hilti or a Bosch Bulldog, that's your next best the thing i really like though was this head here's what it look how big this thing is it's huge so and it really worked well driving those four by four with those mtb bases um it's short fat gets the job done um kind of glad maybe now that i didn't get the 16 pound because even only had to put two posts in that fence but whoa man uh the ntb bases for those posts th those things were like 25 bucks a piece i can see where and and to me they just weren't as secure as a post in concrete or surrounded by gravel uh, but hey when you can't get a hole dug they're handy and you just pass a cost on to your your uh un customer so anyway if you're looking for a sledgehammer, go to Lowe's. Try this bad boy out. I, it's it's my favorite new sledgehammer now. So now I'm looking for uh, reasons to use it. I mean, look at this. This that that right there should do a job on just about anything you need. And it's got the um, little protector here, fiberglass handle. As I said before, massive massive flathead. Um, you can see some machine marks there, but who cares? It's a sledgehammer. Uh, anyway, what else can you say? Um, price, what was this one? This one was around uh, 25 or 30 bucks, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I, I needed it. I knew I was going to buy it. And actually, you know what? I'm sitting here giving a review on this thing, and I'm looking at some... I don't know if these are cracks or not. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see that. On, I just now noticed that. Since they run up in here, maybe they're not. I don't know. Uh, maybe scratched. I threw it in back truck. But the nice thing about the cobalt, if if they are cracks and they're defective, lifetime warranty. You just take it back. Now, that's one thing I do like about cobalt. No question asked. Just take it back. Hey, your, your sledgehammer that I was sledgehammering on, you know, destroying everything in sight with. Um, I think these are scratches, but now I'm wondering where the scratches came from. So anyway, hey, uh, I just wanted to let y'all see this. Um, it's not every day one goes out and buys a big freaking sledgehammer. Um, and price point, I was at Walmart last night. Their sledgehammer, eight pound sledge, regular sledgehammers were 20 bucks. So for five or 10 bucks more, you get a real honking huge uh, serious sledgehammer and um, this has me worried this is scratch but now I'm wondering where did this scratches come from so 
uh, I guess that sometimes happens when you're using a sledgehammer to destroy things. And uh, here we go. I already got a little rust on it, got a little rain on it the other night, but there again, it's a sledgehammer. It's meant to take abuse. It's not focusing in on that. Why are you not focusing? Uh, oh well. It says cobalt, 10 pounds. So. Uh, there you go. I uh, used it once and it did great. In a way, I kind of want to use it again, but it's one of those things that it's nice to look at. You don't want to use very often, but look at that face. That's what I really like. Um, man, I don't know if I'd try to use a wedge and split wood with this thing, although it would do it because I'm, I'm used to using a regular sledge, but Demolition, when you want to get serious about dem demoing something, when something's just got to be destroyed, this bad boy, from what I've already used it, will do it. So anyway, hey, Donald, blue collar, DIY, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that. Don't use a sledgehammer, but just hit that little bell down there so you'll be notified uh, every time I post a new video like and subscribe and i thank you everyone for the support the channel is going crazy love y'all catch you on the next video donald i'm out